Well, it's the romanticism that's uh, in the people, right? And it's the type of music that they listen to, you know, in early times, whatever, you know, Schlager music or whatever first appeared with the comedian harmonists. Schlager, right. Schlager music is German folks music. Yeah, it went, uh, it happened around 1915, 20 or whatever, and then it built up with several stars, you know, that you wouldn't consider rock music or whatever, but they all had amazing melodies, right? And, and, and so the melodic aspect, which is also very strong in the Japanese people, and it's also very similar, you know, <clears throat> you can't go American country or, or whatever, you know, when they, when they invaded America and stuff and, and spread all over, you know, they, they have a different sense, a different feel of what music is or romanticism or whatever, like, like seal it with a kiss, right? <laughs> or Dolly Parton, uh, uh, you know, that's that stuff where you can think it may get close, but in reality there's a big difference in between what Americans or Germans or Japanese or English think is the greatest kind of music you can go for. And so in Japan and Germany that's probably very similar. Or the Russians, you know, they, they also have a strong feel for those like minor melodies. Yeah, like sad and like a deep soul and stuff like that. And, well, we are close to Russia. Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. But then again, Japan is close to Russia as well. <laughs> From and the other side. Then it's probably the, the weather and then, then it's more probably, probably the, the, the extent of light you get. Like the Swedish get less light. You know, maybe that's why they are doing the kind of music they are doing. And whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a combination of several factors, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And, like, I think if you live in... California eh, and Los Angeles, you know, and, and, and you always have that type of weather and it never really changes, you know, it, it may affect your musical intuition or whatever, you know, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd really say so, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of the freaking weather and the air pressure and stuff and whatever and how much uh, light you get exposed to and how much rain you get to see or if you ever experience snow ever in your life, you know, there's people who've never seen snow, you yeah. don't know what it's like. Here on our island, there are like thousands and thousands of people who never saw snow. You could go up to the mountain, which is like a one and a half, two hours ride in, in winter times, to actually see snow, but the, the, the minority does that. So the majority is still standing there on the beach looking up to the mountain, oh, it's white, that must be snow, but they never touched it, you know. <laughs> 